15th February 2023 Morning Murli Aum Shanti Bhaktada Madhupan Sweet children, the furnace of yoga is most valuable for you because it is in this furnace that your sins will be burnt away. Question Which children have the knowledge of the seed and the tree very clearly in their intellects? Answer Those who churn the ocean of knowledge, the early morning hours of nectar is a very good time for churning knowledge. Wake up early in the morning and let your intellect remember the one Baba. Let the soundless chant continue. There is no need to say Shri Baba, Shri Baba in a subtle or physical way. Remember him with your intellect. Om Shanti The spiritual father sits here and explains to the spirits that is, he explains to the children. The father says, I also have a body and this is how I am able to speak. You should also think, I am a soul and I am listening through this body. You have to embed this knowledge very well just as the father has embedded it. Knowledge is embedded by the intellect of your souls just as it is in the father's intellect. So, your intellect should end by it. The explanation of the seed and the tree is very easy. A gardener has knowledge of how a huge tree will emerge by planting such and such a seed. Baba explains that this also has to be end by, by your intellects. Just as all of this remains in my intellect, so it should also remain in yours. That will only happen when you churn the ocean of knowledge. The early morning is a very good time for churning the ocean of knowledge. You don't have any other business etc. At that time, people also perform devotion early in the morning. They go here and there or sit somewhere and chant a name or sing songs and make a lot of noise. Some just say, Ram, Ram, internally. That is the soundless chant of devotion. Some even rotate a rosary. You don't need to say, shift, shift. The things that people do on the path of devotion should not happen in knowledge. Many have the habit of chanting, shift, shift. You do not need to say, shift, shift either in a physical or a subtle way. Your children understand that our father has come. He would definitely come in someone's body. He doesn't have a body of his own. He is beyond rebirth. Rebirth takes place in this human world. Lakshmi and Narayan are the two forms of Vishnu. People say Dev, Dev, Mahadev means deity, deity, great deity. Brahma and Vishnu have a connection with each other, whereas Shankar has no connection at all. This is why he is given greater importance. He does not take rebirth. He receives a subtle body. Shri Baba doesn't even have a subtle body and this is why he is the highest on high. He is the unlimited father. You children, Understand that you are claiming the unlimited inheritance of happiness from the unlimited father. You have to follow the father Srimad completely. It is as though those who have remembrance and inspire others to have remembrance became Baba's helpers. Remember the father and the inheritance. Baba continues to explain to your children that your 84 births are now almost completed and that very little time now remains. In a play, actors understand when only half an hour remains that they will then go home. They continue to watch the clock. Yours is an unlimited huge clock. It has been explained that you now have to return home. By remembering the father, your sins will be absolved. In 
no other scripture it's such a easy yoga mansion they do a great deal of hot yoga they make a lot of effort you mothers are not able to do that you don't have to sit in special postures like hot yogis do yes you do have to sit with discipline in the gathering yours as raj yoga you have to sit in a semi lotus position by your sitting in yoga in such a raw way there will be intoxication in hatha yoga they enter clock their legs baba doesn't give you such difficulty however there has to be a slightest difference in sitting in an ordinary way and sitting in yoga you are studying raj yoga and so you should sit in such a way that human beings understand that this is raj yoga these are your royal manners you are being made into the kings of kings by the unlimited father you should remember such a father again and again you do not remember the father in the golden age you only remember yourself in the iron age souls neither know the father nor themselves they simply call out to the father you have now come to know baba very clearly no one else understands that the father is a dog they say that he is very subtle and yet they also say that he is brighter than a thousand suns those things don't match since they say that he is beyond name and form how can they say that he is brighter than a thousand suns previously you also used to think in that way the father says this explanation had to be given later on in the drama the subtlest and deepest aspects have to be understood and then explained to others don't think why we are we told previously that god was brighter than a thousand suns and that we are now told that he is just a dot it is only when someone is studying for the ics means indian civil services that he would speak about the ics how could he speak about it beforehand there is no need to be confused about this according to the drama when baba has to explain he will explain baba will explain further because the father's influence has to spread just as you are souls in the same way he too is a soul who resides in the supreme abode he is called the supreme soul when he comes here he gives knowledge the father says when the world becomes impure i come to purify it they call out oh purifier oh remover of sorrow bestower of happiness come he comes at the confluence age when the night is over the day will begin and it will be the end of the old world you will reach your karmatic stage at the end you have to leave at home you must not leave that remain as pure as a lotus flower while forming connections for the livelihood of your bodies they just were completely pure but when and how did they become like that surely they must have made effort in order to receive their reward their reward was created according to their efforts as are the actions so will be the reward this continues to happen you have now found the father the one who teaches you how to act you have to remember him very well you are adopted children there is a great deal of adoption among the marwaris means a tribe in india you too are adopted you are not born through a womb when someone is adopted he remembers both his fathers until a very end of his life he remembers whose child he really is and also the father who adopted him you also know whom you used to belong to and whose children you have now became you know that 
you have been adopted by the supreme father the supreme soul he is the creator of heaven for how long does his creation last for half a cycle ravan is the creator of hell and his kingdom also lasts for half a cycle from sata pradhan it becomes tama pradhan this has to be understood if you don't understand something you can ask when there is an eclipse of the sun or the moon they say give a donation and the eclipse will be removed the sun and the moon are memorials of the father and mother here both males and females experience an eclipse this is why it is said give the donation of the five vices there is an eclipse once or twice a year here it is a question of every cycle only once does the father come to take this donation human beings have become completely ugly this is the iron age when real gold has alloy mixed into it it becomes tarnished there is the new home and the old home there is a difference between the newborn baby and an old person a little baby is very sweet and lovely everyone kisses a baby and takes it in their lap when a body becomes old and decayed they say it is better to renounce it why should more pain be ensured a soul sheds a body and takes another here you don't allow the sick to die because the more they listen the better it is let them continue to remember shibaba and the inheritance people forget everything when they are ill and in a lot of pain however the one in whom they have faith appears in front of them at that time your promise is minus one shibaba and none other so why do you remember someone else the father says you should not remember anyone except me it is said someone who remembers his wife at the end will reach his destination accordingly although the recite the whole of this was they do not understand the meaning of it all the things they remember on the path of devotion are from the conference age at this time you simply have to remember the father and the inheritance the status of shri narayan is your reward and so the full meaning of this should be in your intellect mean people remember it without understanding the significance of it at the end whomsoever you have the most love for will be remembered you have to remain very cautious you only have to remember the one father the father says man manabhav you children see baba we meet you every cycle we come to madhavan to receive this knowledge from you this is the mantra that disciplines the mind the sadguru gives you such a mantra that you become immortal this is the mantra to conquer maya due to this they say that tulsidas wrap some sandalwood on a stone and that god then appeared and gave him the tilak of sovereignty that applies to this time and it is remembered later on your children are receiving the unlimited tilak of sovereignty by remembering the father and the inheritance if you leave the body in remembrance of the father and the kingdom you receive a tilak of sovereignty it is not that only one will receive it there is the rosary of 108 and also the rosary of 16108 now simply remember baba accurately for baba it is said your ways and means are unique only you know them that is accurate he is the one who grants salvation and he is the one who knows previously you simply used to sing this without understanding meaning of it that is called meaningless there was no atonement at all while giving donations and performing charity etc human beings have continued to fall without achieving anything everything has become meaningless by dead dictates being followed 
This one used to worship Narayan and from being a worshipper, he is now becoming worthy of worship in a practical way. Your children now understand that Shubhava is teaching us. You have to remember this firmly. Otherwise, your sins will not be absorbed. This fullness of yoga is most valuable. You also receive liberation. Some say that they want peace of mind. Ask them, first of all, tell us who made you peaceless. Previously, you were peaceful. You have now become peaceless. And this is why you ask for peace. The whole world needs peace. Nothing can be achieved by just one person receiving peace. The whole world is not going to become peaceful just because one person received peace. Who made you peaceless? They became confused. It is explained that there is the land of peace, the land of happiness and thus land of sorrow. There are very few human beings in the land of happiness. At that time, all other souls are in the land of peace. You will receive peace there. You cannot receive it here. Here, it is the land of sorrow and there is peacelessness at times of sorrow. This is very easy to explain to anyone. There is only the one father who gives you the inheritance of peace and happiness. In the golden age, there are both peace and happiness. Here souls want their minds to become peaceful, but you have to go home to your supreme abode for that. However, no impure souls can go up there. And so, this is why the father explains, remember me and your final thoughts will lead you to your destination. Remember the father and the inheritance. However, Maya is such that she doesn't allow you to become pure. Just look how innocent ones are assaulted. Some cannot remain without poison. Baba receives many types of news. The greatest violence is lost. The enemy. The father says, children, renounce poison. Do not dirty your faces. They say, yes, we will try. This is the poison that causes you sorrow from its beginning through the middle to the end. However, if it is not in their fortune, they do not listen. When the father sits here and tells a soul that from today he should not enlarge in vice, he simply looks down. Loss is the greatest enemy. It is not a good thing. This is a vicious world. Everyone is impure. In the golden age, all are completely viceless. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children who have come and met Baba after a cycle, that is after 5000 years, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children, the spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point, very little time remains. Therefore, become complete helpers of the father. Remember the father and the inheritance and inspire others to do the same. Second point, in the final moments, only the father should be remembered. For this, let your heart have love for the one father. Don't remember anyone except the father. Be very cautious about this blessing. May you become equal to the father by making your thinking, speaking and doing equal. Explanation. Baptada now wants to see all the children complete and equal to him. In order to become complete, let your thinking, speaking and doing be equal. You have to make all the preparations for this. You have this thought and you also desire it. But this desire will only be fulfilled when you become ignorant of the knowledge of all other desires. Many little desires do not allow this one desire to be fulfilled. Slogan 
in order to experience the abhyakt and karmatit stage make your words actions and way of life equal om shanti